Mass production turning of an aerospace component made from 1.0 diameter alloy steel is performed on a Mori Seiki NL2500 SY700 CNC turning center. This advanced machine is equipped with Y-axis milling capability, C-axis control on both main and subspindles, and live tooling, enabling complex operations in a single setup. The process begins by automatically feeding the steel bar into the main spindle. Facing and rough turning are done first to remove the bulk material. Live tooling is used for cross and axial drilling, milling flats, and slots. The Y-axis allows for precise off-center features. The part is then handed off to the subspindle for backworking operations, including threading, chamfering, and final contouring. High-pressure coolant ensures chip evacuation and thermal stability, while tool monitoring and in-process inspection guarantee dimensional accuracy and surface finish. This integrated machining approach significantly reduces cycle time and handling, ensuring consistent, high-quality production for demanding aerospace applications. Large part helical milling involves precise, efficient material removal using helical toolpaths. This method enhances surface finish and dimensional accuracy on oversized components, optimizing cycle time while maintaining tool life and reducing machining forces during complex contouring operations. Alaris Rolled Products in Kentucky, USA operates a highly efficient high base storage and logistics system designed specifically for aluminum coils. The system has a total storage capacity of 504 aluminum coils, each weighing up to 26.5 tons. The layout includes a single aisle accessed by two automated stacker cranes, which operate at horizontal speeds of up to 180 meters per minute and vertical speeds of 24 meters per minute. Coil and feed is managed by a high-speed transport car, ensuring quick and reliable delivery. The system features fully automated strapping and marking processes before coils are transferred to the cold rolling mill or inspection lines. It provides highly flexible and extremely gentle handling for sensitive aluminum materials, minimizing mechanical stress and preserving surface quality. As a cost-effective solution, it allows seamless integration between multiple processing lines and intermediate storage, optimizing productivity and inventory control across the facility. The new carbide grades GC4425 and GC4415 are engineered for productive steel turning, offering exceptional performance in demanding machining environments. These grades deliver improved wear resistance, heat resistance, and toughness thanks to the second generation Inveo coating technology. Designed for high metal removal rates without sacrificing tool life, they enable longer time in cut and higher cutting speeds under stable conditions. This results in increased machine utilization, reduced cycle times, and more parts produced per cutting edge. By minimizing material waste and maximizing efficiency, GC4415 and GC4425 represent a powerful upgrade for any steel machining operation. The Milturn CNC machine enables complete machining of highly complex components in a single setup, utilizing both the main and counter spindles for maximum efficiency. This multitasking solution delivers exceptional performance with its powerful counter spindle rated at 29 kilowatts and capable of 5,000 revolutions per minute, supporting a chuck size of 250 millimeter. The machine also features a robust milling spindle, delivering 29 kilowatts at 12,000 revolutions per minute which ensures high-precision milling operations across a wide range of materials. 
Combined with a powerful main spindle, the Milturn CNC machine is ideal for demanding, multi-process machining tasks, reducing setup time and increasing productivity. The Matsura MAM 72-63V is a state-of-the-art 5-axis vertical machining center engineered for high-precision and high-efficiency manufacturing. One of its most demanding applications is the machining of a V8 engine block from a solid billet of aluminum or alloy steel. This process involves the complete transformation of raw material into a fully machined, ready-for-inspection engine block, all performed within one machine and one continuous cycle. The process begins by loading the raw billet onto one of the system's automatic pallets. With a capacity of up to 32 pallets and a built-in automatic pallet changer, the machine is designed for uninterrupted, unmanned operation over long periods, a concept known as lights-out manufacturing. Once the billet is securely clamped, the MAM 72 to 63 volts begins its five-axis machining operations. The high-speed spindle, capable of 12,000 revolutions per minute, with optional 15,000 revolutions per minute, delivers up to 30 kilowatts of power, allowing both aggressive material removal during roughing and fine surface finishing during final contouring. The machine's five-axis capability enables simultaneous tool movement in all directions, granting complete access to all surfaces of the V8 block, including the cylinder banks, crankshaft tunnel, coolant and oil passages, head mounting surfaces, and external bolt patterns. The spindle accesses even the most complex geometries without the need to remove and reposition the part manually. One of the critical technologies integrated into the MAM 72 to 63 volts is Matsura's Thermal Meister Compensation System. This feature constantly monitors the temperature of the machine structure and cutting area, making real-time adjustments to maintain micron-level accuracy. This level of precision is crucial for engine block machining, as it involves tight tolerances for cylinder alignment, piston bore geometry, and mating surface flatness. Any deviation can result in performance losses or component failure in the final engine assembly. The machine is equipped with an automatic tool changer, ATC, that holds up to 320 tools. This allows for seamless transitions between milling, drilling, reaming, tapping, and chamfering operations, all within the same cycle. Each tool is monitored for wear, and in-process inspection probes are used to measure key features such as bore diameters and depth to ensure consistent quality. If a dimension is out of tolerance, the machine can automatically adjust tool offsets or flag the component for inspection. The production cycle typically includes several machining stages, roughing the external geometry, contour milling of combustion chambers and deck faces, boring of cylinder bores, drilling of oil galleries and head bolt holes, and precision milling of the main bearing saddles. The five-axis configuration ensures that these operations are done in a single setup, which greatly reduces cumulative error and setup time. Once machining is complete, the engine block is transferred to a cooling station and then automatically cleaned of chips and cutting fluids. It is then subjected to a final dimensional inspection, either on the machine using integrated probes or offline with a CMM. The entire machining and handling process is managed by the Matsura control system, which is often integrated with factory ERP and MES platforms to ensure traceability and production optimization. In conclusion, machining a V8 engine block from solid billet using the Matsura MAM 72 to 63 volts represents the pinnacle of modern, high-performance manufacturing. With its high-speed spindles, large tool capacity, advanced thermal control, and automation-ready design, it dramatically increases productivity, ensures superior part quality, and eliminates the need for multiple setups or machines.
Cutting tool geometries in both lathe and milling operations play a critical role in ensuring optimal material removal, process stability, and surface finish. This SME Fundamental Manufacturing Processes video outlines the essential considerations and configurations of cutting tools used in precision metalworking. In lathe operations, most turning tasks utilize single-point tools where a singular cutting edge engages the rotating workpiece. These tools are typically indexable carbide inserts, although alternatives like high-speed steel, ceramic, cubic boron nitride, and polycrystalline diamond are used based on application needs. Key insert geometries include shape, clearance angle, inscribed circle, IC, thickness, nose radius, and chip breaker design, each influencing performance under specific process parameters such as material type, hardness, machining power, feed rates, and work holding rigidity. Insert shape selection reflects a trade-off between strength and versatility. Round and square inserts offer strength and cost efficiency, ideal for roughing, while 35 degrees and 55 degrees diamond inserts allow intricate contouring. Trigon inserts with six cutting edges and strength comparable to 80 degrees diamonds provide cost-effective versatility for medium depth turning. Molded inserts are standard for general applications, while ground inserts are used where close tolerances and sharp cutting edges are necessary. The cutting tool's geometry includes rake and inclination angles, significantly influencing chip formation and heat dissipation. Positive rake angles reduce cutting forces and temperatures, suited for free machining, whereas negative rakes enhance tool strength but demand more power, typical in roughing or cast iron cutting. Tool holders which locate and secure inserts are classified by shank size, insert style, rake angle, and clamping method. The lead angle, defining the approach of the cutting edge to the workpiece, determines stress distribution and chip thickness. Nose radius selection affects surface finish and tool strength. Larger radii improve strength and surface smoothness, but increase radial forces and vibration risk. Proper matching of insert size to tool holder pocket and machining parameters ensures maximum cutting edge engagement and reduces tool breakage. Edge preparation methods, honing, chamfering, or negative land application, balance edge strength and chip flow characteristics. Chip control is vital in turning operations, with chip breaker geometries, incorporating grooves, waves, and bumps, designed for specific feed and depth combinations. Poor chip control leads to process inefficiency, safety hazards, or accelerated tool wear. Ideal chips are small and curled. Long stringy or corrugated chips indicate mismatched chip breaker design or incorrect cutting parameters. Chip color, particularly in steel, also provides thermal feedback. A gradual gold to blue transition indicates proper heat dissipation through the chip. In milling, multi-point tools like face mills utilize multiple inserts to generate flat surfaces through intermittent cutting. Inserts in face mills engage the work sequentially, forming short, manageable chips. Climb milling, preferred for most indexable insert cutters, engages the thickest chip section first, minimizing deflection and improving finish. Cutter body design, diameter, lead and rake angles, insert pocket geometry, pitch and mounting method directly affects performance. Effective diameter, defined by the outermost cutting points of opposite inserts, is crucial for proper engagement and surface generation. Advanced milling strategies, including ramping and interpolation, utilize small diameter face mills for efficient pocket machining, reducing cutting forces, and improving productivity. The Hyundai WIAL2100SY 
is a high-precision Y-axis CNC turning center engineered for complex and multitasking operations in modern manufacturing. Designed to perform both turning and milling operations in a single setup, this machine integrates dual spindles and a live tooling turret, enabling comprehensive front and back machining with minimal intervention. The main spindle supports an 8-inch chuck and reaches a maximum speed of 4,500 revolutions per minute, while the subspindle, fitted with a 6-inch chuck, operates at up to 6,000 revolutions per minute. These high spindle speeds enhance surface finish quality and reduce cycle times, especially when machining intricate geometries and fine features. The machine's maximum turning diameter is U 335 mm, and it supports a maximum turning length of 455 mm, making it suitable for medium-size high-complexity components. Axis travels include 210 mm on the x-axis, 100 mm on the y-axis, plus or minus 50 mm effective stroke, and 580 mm on the z-axis, allowing for extensive part manipulation and off-center milling. The integrated Y-axis, built with a rigid wedge-type construction, provides enhanced machining stability during simultaneous operations such as milling, drilling, and tapping. A servo-driven 12-station live tooling turret delivers high indexing speed and precise positioning, enabling multiple tool changes without workpiece repositioning. This contributes to both improved dimensional accuracy and greater productivity. The machine's structure features high-rigidity box-type guides and thermal-stabilized components to ensure long-term accuracy and vibration resistance under heavy cutting conditions. Control is managed by the Fanuc 32 IBCNC system, HW Fanuc I series, which offers high-speed processing, intuitive user interface, and broad compatibility with CAD CAM systems. The controller supports synchronized spindle operation, tool wear compensation, and advanced cycle programming, making it suitable for both automated production and custom parts manufacturing. In sum, the Hyundai WIAL2100SY delivers advanced multi-axis capabilities, high-speed dual spindle performance, and robust construction, positioning it as a reliable solution for industries demanding precision, versatility, and reduced setup times in complex part production. Heavy machining of a 25-ton rotor shaft is efficiently performed using a Poraba machine with 195 kilowatts power. The operation employs SCMT38 positive inserts coated with Duratomic TP0500 for extended tool life and heat resistance. The Special Court SSBCR4053-25 tool holder ensures stable, high MRR finishing on high-grade steel. The maintenance process begins with inspection on the injection molding machine, followed by preparing the core side by lifting the mold and loosening screws without disconnecting electrical, hydraulic, or cooling lines. Next, the head slider is removed by loosening the ejector rod screws, allowing crane-assisted removal without hose disassembly. Side jaws are then easily dismantled after removing the slide.